Hello ladies, Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. May 8th is the feast day of the apparition of St. Michael on Mont Gargano. Okay, I made a YouTube video uh, about the St. Michael relic stone. So if you haven't watched it, kindly just watch it. Um, there's a lot of like miracles attributed to this St. Michael relic stone. So I would just like to share with you an article that I've read. Uh, it's written by Deacon Guadalupe Rodriguez and I would just like to share with you one uh, of the miracles that he shared here. He said here that he just finished doing his holy hour and this person who had heard him speak about uh, angels um, during a class spoke to him, okay? And the person said that they had been involved in new age activity in their past and now they had converted to the Catholic faith via the RCIA program at the parish. The person asked for advice since their tongue burnt and left blisters when they receive, they would receive Holy Communion. Having had a pre previous case like this, I, which is Deacon the, Guadalupe Rodriguez, gave the person advice of what to do, plus I said that they needed to obtain a St. Michael relic stone. The next paragraph is a person's testimony on the power of the St. Michael relic stone. The person wrote, before I became Catholic, I would have nightmares and I could actually feel the weight of a demon in the bed. I've had two demons in the bed before. It is kind of like how it would feel if a large cat got on a bed and walked around. Very frightening. But I would wake up and tell them they had to leave because I belong to Jesus and they would leave. After becoming Catholic, I could still feel them on the edge of the bed as if they were sitting or pushing down on the mattress. Again, it would wake me up and I would say, I belong to Jesus, leave. After putting the St. Michael's relic, relic un under my pillow, I am sleeping well, dreaming more. But this morning, something was pressing on my mattress at the foot of the bed, woke me up. Apparently, they're not able to get on the bed now. St. Faustina mentions a similar experience in her diary. I was afraid to tell anyone about this, but after reading this in her diary, and she was so close to Jesus that I felt validated in my experiences. In the diary of St. Faustina, uh, where she recounted this kind of experience is in paragraph 412. And St. Faustina wrote, I saw many demons. One of these tried to vex me, taking the form of a cat. He kept throwing himself onto my bed and on my feet, and he was quite heavy as if weighing a ton. The St. Michael relic is protecting me. I wear my brown scapular and St. Michael scapular. So what happened next is that the person's tongue no longer burns when they receive Holy Communion and the attacks have stopped. Praise be Jesus Christ. So I really encourage you to um, get the St. Michael relic stone. You could order it online. And also, uh, I would encourage you to also get the scapular of St. Michael, okay, but you can't just ask any priest to, to, to bless the scapular. You need to look for a Michaelite -like priest uh, or uh, any any priest that has been designated by the Michaelite -like priest uh, so that you will be able to be enrolled in the confraternity and the St. Michael scapular will be blessed so that you will be able to wear it. So I've been wearing this since I got enrolled to the confraternity, okay? So Let's ask the, the protection of St. Michael uh, for us and also for our loved ones. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.